Zimbabwe's elections are just a few months away, well, no, actually not even a few months away, a few weeks away, because that's on the 23rd of August. But there's a campaign here in South Africa, 500 buses uh, arranged in different parts of South Africa for those who would be traveling back home to vote. It's believed the initiative is being spearheaded by the presidential aspirant, uh, that's uh, Xavier Kasukuwere. Let's talk now to one of the organizers, Victor Mbofu. Uh, Victor, good morning to you and uh, thank you for your time. Uh, just explain to us, if indeed, what you are trying to organize here, these 500 buses free of charge. Is this part of the Kasukuwere-led campaign? Good morning, uh, Tolly. Thank you for your time. Good morning, listeners. Um, this is um, a call that was made by the EFF, which um, um, the campaign led by Xavier Kasukuwere um, is actually heading. So we are, you know, trying to get anyone that is registered that wants to go and vote uh, to go and vote. So regardless of uh, you having money for transport or not, we need you to actually go and vote. So we are pushing everyone, you know, towards that mm. free of charge to and from All right. Zimbabwe. How much enthusiasm are you seeing on the ground on this very call that Zimbabweans who live in South Africa, let's get onto the buses and go home to vote. So they say it, um, a lot of people are, you know, uh, coming forward and they are ready to actually, you know, you know, go and vote. Um, um, so the, the the move on the ground, people are excited, people are willing to go, people are willing to just go and do their democratic right. All right. Well, if they are enthusiastic about going home to vote, you've already established that this is a Kasukuwere, Savior Kasukuwere led campaign. He is one of yes. those that are vying to become president, but there's a problem with his campaign because there's a court challenge to him being a legitimate candidate. Why do you think that people uh, should believe in? a campaign or a cause of someone who doesn't actually yet know whether he is going to be on the voters' roll? Look, Kali, I don't want to actually jump into, you know, the happenings of court as we speak. Um, however, uh, this is any, any Zimbabwean's right to go and vote. So we are saying, look, if you go and vote for our, 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 our leading candidate, Perfect. If um, you, you, you feel you need to go and cut your vote for someone else, you are, you are open to come and do that. So at, at the present moment, Tolly, I can only after tomorrow or after today, later today, then we can probably delve into, you know, um, how we are literally getting people to, what, what's the outcome of the, of the court. However, all we are calling for is for Zimbabwe to go home and vote. All right. And whether... Yes. So, so 500 buses are organized, as we've already established, 500 of yes. them organized, and these buses are going to be leaving from major cities around South Africa. These, importantly, and this is crucial now, these are going to be made available to Zimbabwean citizens free of charge, this ride to Zimbabwe. Perfect. Who's paying? Yes. Who's paying? Look, uh, um, all I can safely say is we are working with the EFF, South Africa EFF. Our, um, uh, you know, uh, CIC, Jules Malema came up and said, I have 500 buses for the moment to go home. Mm -hmm. So this is what has been put on the table by the CIC and EFF South Africa, and we're taking it, and that's what we're pushing. All right, so the assumption, therefore, because I don't want to make any assumptions. In fact, let's get it on the record. You're saying yes. that the EFF has committed, as pronounced by Julius Malema, to pay for these buses so that Zimbabweans can get on the buses and go home to vote. The EFF has committed 500 buses uh, to go to Zimbabwe, to and from, for Zimbabweans to go and vote. Okay. 
And final question to you, because on the, um, on the campaign uh, that is, of course, being circulated on social media, there's also the element there that the buses will take you to Zimbabwe and bring you back. Is there wariness from the people that they might uh, come across challenges when they try to return to South Africa? Look, um, there is Zimbabweans that are um, legally in South Africa. And there is Zimbabweans that have been sent in that are, are, support, uh, that are in South Africa. So if you are eligible to come back, you can go and come back. You don't have issues. Um, if by any chance you get to Zimbabwe and your papers are not, you know, uh, clean enough for you to come back or they're not all right for you to come back, Mm. Um, then it's now into your into your hands. However, we want uh, Zimbabweans to go home and vote. There is so much there is so much that is missing now purely because uh, people are failing to go home and vote. So oh. there is a chance that has been afforded, and uh, we're taking it as a case. As I let you go, the person on whose behalf you are conducting this campaign, Savia Kasukuwere, that's the person who hopes to be Zimbabwe's president. The court case, is that, uh, do I have it correct, that it is going to be heard tomorrow, that's Friday, at the highest court in Zimbabwe, which is the Supreme Court? It's only going to be heard today uh, uh, in, in, in Harare, yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Victor Mbofu, he is uh, one of the campaign organizers and he's... Uh, of course, linked to the Savia Kasukuwere uh, elections campaign. That's the person who wishes to become Zimbabwe's president.